Welcome everyone back to Pommy Nose. Hope you're all doing really well. If you're new around here, hit that like button and subscribe. It really helping the channel out. We're absolutely smashing out. And we're here today with the Adelaide list appraisal. We're going to have a look at Adelaide, talk a bit about their year, talk about a little bit about what they may be looking for. So let's get straight into it. And here we are. We have the Adelaide list, as you can see. And a lot of... A lot of uh, a lot a lot to do here. I think with Adelaide, like if you look at Adelaide's season this year, it hasn't been, if we're honest, fantastic, has it? It, it has been a disappointing year. Um, if you were like me, you were hot on the crows. I do think that Rory Sloan, being obviously as you can see there. Um, retiring early, I do think really affected them. I do feel like he is the glue that holds this side together. But you can see at the moment they've got 37 on their list. They've already obviously cut Rory Sloan. Five rookie A's, one rookie B, 43. So they've got some workability. We look here, we've got pick four, 25, 42, 60. Their committants in this, all right, are Tyler Welsh, all right, father, son. So we know one of these picks here. Probably going to go and pay for this for a bid match. Should be a lot higher, though. He's a quality player. Mark Keane has signed his three-year deal. So he's going to have to come off the rookie A-list. And Patrick Parnell, should they sign him, he is ineligible for the rookie A. So a lot to really do here. Um, we can see their trade targets. Jack Lacocious, Caleb Daniel, Malcolm Roses. Neil Bullen has already nominated um, for them, so that will have to be have to be a trade. And they're definitely looking for, you'd say at the moment, a definite midfielder. Definitely a midfielder. Um, they're definitely looking for that POD, really, in that midfield, in my opinion. And they're definitely looking for... I think they're trying to force pressure-based players. So Neil Bullen, for me is an absolute excellent, excellent acquisition. And it's going to be really interesting for me of what of, of what they're going to bring in because I think they're going to hit the draft fairly, fairly hard. Fairly hard. Now, let's talk about the Neil Bullen trade, right? That is going to be really interesting because what are they going to ask for? 4 and 25 for me is overs for this for this type of player, right? 25 is probably the bottom end of his of his value. So I reckon that you may see a future second here. If I was Melbourne and I look at like Melbourne's it Melbourne's picks this year and what they're getting, I think that you've probably got a good little argument here when you look at Mel. Uh, if you look at this trade, that a future second may get the job done. Melbourne then can play the little risk reward on: Are they going to tank again? Are they going to bottom out again? If they bottom out again, we're in a real good position. We've got a real healthy pick. When you look at what Melbourne are linked with at the moment, May Malcolm Roses Jr. You've got Nathan Kruger. You haven't exactly been linked with anyone who's like, ooh, that's that that's scary. So it's not like they're going to be desperate for picks. So let's play this game, right? So when we look at this, we'll do the ones that we're definitely going to get rid of. So Will Hamill, he can stay on the rookie list. So that's probably not too much of an issue. Ned McHenry, he's probably one there that I think you re-sign. I, I think you re-sign for the depth, let's just say that. Brody Smith, let's just provisionally keep him on, but he is maybe someone that I might look at delisting and rookieing at a later date. Um, so let's have a look at that. Elliot Himmelberg, I think he will go, and potentially if you can get a trade from GWS, that is the Neil Bullen trade. Let's just say that's a break-even. He's probably overs. Ball ass, James. I reckon you can keep him there. No point moving Cal him. I reckon you D-list par now. You'll keep on with Toby Toby Old Murray. And then we've got Parnell, Bond, and Gollan. So Bond, Gollan. I reckon these are players that you may 
look at getting rid of. We're going to have to promote him to the senior list, right? Let's look at what our list looks like now, right? So we've got 35, 3, we've got some healthy list spots. So let's just say we do D-list Brody Smith and pick him up in the rookie A, right? Okay, so you see now we've got some real good healthy list spots. Look, we've got we got we got some playing room here. We've got some playing room here, right? So let's say pick four, we bring in Sid Draper, right? So this becomes Sid Draper, right? So Sid Draper, we've instantly got to add one more player, right? Tyler Welsh, we've committed to, we've picked him up. Dad, dad done we've done that and we've done we've done that and we've done that so right right now if you look there so you've done that you've got your Sid Draper in you've got your Tyler Welsh in right so then we've got 25 so Neil Bullen's gonna have to come in right so suddenly we're in a real healthy spot as you can see here we're in a real strong spot we've got rid of we've got rid of Himmelberg do you know what I mean we've traded him do you know what I mean? We've rookie aid him. Do you know what I mean? We've 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 rookie aid him. We've kept him there. We've kept Net McHenry for the time being. Right? We've delisted traded him. We've rookie aid him. Right? Parnell, we've delisted. Right? And for the time being, we've got rid of Golant and Golant and we kept Bond, didn't we? Yeah, we got rid of Golant, right? So that's good. That's good. Let's make sure. Oh, wait, here we are. We did get rid of Bond. There we are. So look, we've done that. Right? So this is pretty good. So we've got a pretty healthy thing here. We've senior aid. This guy, right? Which is really important, right? So then what we're looking at here, if we look at our list now and we add these two here, right? That's looking quite healthy. That's quite looking quite healthy. We've got Neil Bullen in there. We've got some real knife depth there. And then we pick 25. This could be an interesting one because around that pick 25 mark is a real fascinating one from Adelaide, I think, because when you look at that as like a draft per se, you've got like a real good, real good fighting ground there, I think, for them. Uh, a real good like little fighting ground in the terms of this is somewhere that you can have a look and maybe get a little bit bit sexy with it players in this area alex dobson's there which do adelaide need i don't think they do to be honest i don't think they do need like a a rookman coming in per se i think someone like christian Morales would be a real good solid little prospect for them would be a real solid little prospect for them to to really get going um they may even go in this like little area here of looking for like a real strong forward mark. So that's going to be interesting. Is that Malcolm Rosas here? Like, do they make the list change here? Because they've got two. They've obviously got a rookie A, so they've got a real strong sample department. They could probably do that. But is that something like, I think this guy here could be a real key little pillar here because he can play genuinely two different roles. He could play down back as that halfback interceptor. And suddenly now you've got one list spot here that, you know, is a rookie A that maybe you do take a second chance on, like, a Hugh Bond, who I am pretty hot on. Like, I don't mind Hugh Bond. I think there's something there. Or is that a Parnell or someone like that? It can't be a Parnell, but is it someone like that? And then suddenly, look, you've got a real strong... A real strong list that is full. And uh, you've got that ability now. Look there, if you do that completed list. So Adelaide have got a little bit of word to play around with. But I think it's a real strong position in this draft. In this example here, as you can see, we've rookie aid Will Hamill. We've delisted and rookie aid Brody Smith. We've got that depth. James Bellas has come in. Hugh Bond has come in. We've got rid of Golan, Parnell, Himmelberg. McHenry we've promote we've kept on the senior list. Sid Draper, we've picked 25. We either pick up a junior or we get like a Jack Lacocious or a Malcolm Roses Jr. or Caleb Daniel. Should we get rid of someone like Brody Smith? We've got rid of Elliot Himmelberg. 
And we brought in Neil Bullen, we brought in Jack Lacocious and our example, Tyler Welsh, Sid Draper, and then a rookie A, which we could, in this example, we've rookie A'd Hugh Bond. We want to have another look at him. Real strong list spot here, position that they're in. And this could be an exciting one. I'm really hot on Adelaide. I think this trade period here just needs to be a little bit smarter. I think they've got the genuine core nucleus of their list. I think Neil Bullen adds that real strength and that fight in the forward half so they can keep the ball in the forward half for longer. I think bringing in a player like Neil Bullen is massive. I think if they can bring in the Jack Lokosius, they can play him at that halfback intercept role or play him forward, which gives them real strong options, I think, to try and leave Tex Walker isolated in forward 50 and really help him out there. It helps Tyler Welsh out. It means the development will have to be good. And Sid Draper is definitely, for me, paramount because he is the point of difference. I really like Adelaide's list here. I think it's really strong. I think it's one that could really do really well in next year. And they're one that I'm looking for to kind of use Hawthorne per se as a model and try and jump up as soon as possible. I think... Getting Keane back is really, really strong for them, right? He's really, really strong for them, and it's going to be interesting. You could have an option here that Ned McHenry is constantly in the issue, and this could be something here where you would have an extra list spot, and then you could maybe bring in Malcolm Rosas with Jack Lacocious, and I think maybe that's a strong, because then your list would be full, and it would be 38 and you could do that, and you could do that with maybe a future pick. I don't think Rosas will set you back too much. Maybe one of the picks here that we did for the bid match, and they go into deficit. Really exciting time, though, for Adelaide. Let me know what you think, Adelaide fans. I'm really hot on you guys. I think you've got a real solid, well-rounded list with a, lot of t with a lot of stars there, but also a lot of depth that could come into it. Let me know what you think. Peace, love, and light. Pum out. Rolling up over black Cadillac, high heel boots and a sexy body full of tats. Baby's battle.